Well, news now from India's southern state of Karnataka, where the mass sexual abuse case against MP Prajwal Revana and his father has created a political storm. Sources tell Vion that the Ministry of External Affairs is working to cancel Revana's diplomatic passport. This, as his grandfather and former Prime Minister H.G. Devagora has warned Junior Revana to return home and face legal charges. While the 60-year-old father has remained in Karnataka, the JDS BJP candidate uh, fled to Germany just before the case came to light. The development comes after the state government sent a formal letter urging a revocation of his passport. Earlier, the External Affairs Ministry had revealed that uh, Evana did not follow protocol before leaving India. Uh, last weekend, an arrest warrant was issued against him for the first time. It was expected to be followed by a red corner notice. It has been a month since the case came to light and pressure is building on authorities to bring the accused back to India. And we are now being joined by our correspondent Siddharth MP for the very latest on this. And Siddharth, a very strongly worded uh, letter there from the former Prime Minister and grandfather H.D. Devagora to his grandson. And among, of course, this pressure is building from authorities as well. And there's a political storm unraveling uh, over this. Yes, huge turmoil in Karnataka politics, as you pointed out, because it's been more than a month since Prajwal has been at large because come this weekend it will be a month it was uh, last on polling day in Karnataka 26th of April that he was seen in public view and thereafter he fled the country on a diplomatic passport and since then there's a lot of explosive details that have come out pertaining to the grave allegations against Revanna. his father was taken into custody by the uh, special investigation team in Karnataka then in addition to that the National Commission for Women in India has also started probing the case on their own they took cognizance of this matter but now now, this final letter or what H.T. Deve Gowda, the 91-year-old politician and the former Prime Minister of India and also the Supremo of the JDS party in Karnataka, he has come out with a strongly worded ultimatum, what he calls it, for his grandson saying that you have to come to India and face the law. In fact, what he has mentioned is that he doesn't want to argue against anyone because he says there's a lot of mudslinging and allegations against his family. But at this point in time, he doesn't want to respond to any of that. And he just left it at that by saying that, you know, God really knows what has happened. He just left it uh, on that note and said that it is imperative at this point in time for Prajwal to return to India because if not, he said that this will be his final warning and Prajwal Revana would be isolated by the entire family. So this of course is a family run political party with a lot of family members of HD Devagauda holding important positions including um, you know, his sons. So this is why he has clearly emphasized that he will be isolated. Prajwal will be isolated by the family if he does not return to India to face the law. So this has become a political controversy in Karnataka because uh, the Chief Minister Sidra Maya of the Congress-led government there has clearly emphasized that uh, this is just a statement for public consumption. The uh, senior H.T. Devagauda, the politician there, veteran politician, former Prime Minister, is the one who allegedly sent pra Prajwal out of the country and he says that this letter is only for public consumption and for sort of uh, uh, you know, taking care of the public anger that prevails against Prajwal Revanna. So we'll continue to track the developments as this case evolves. Right, Siddharth, thanks very much indeed for joining us with the very latest there. So, of course, a political storm there and the opposition calling this a face saver. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.